We haven't declined to do anything. We're actually in active discussions with them about joining, but as I'm sure you know, there are different categories of membership um, and therefore we're going through an assessment as to what category, if we did choose to join, would best suit our circumstances. I've discussed uh, possible membership uh, of Scotland with Danish ministers directly. I would expect us over uh, the next period to associate ourselves in one of those categories of membership. Uh, And I've been very clear, and it's not the easiest message for a country like Scotland that has you know, a long uh, history and a big oil and gas sector here to say that we must, to use the terminology of the organisation, move beyond oil and gas. We must do that as quickly as possible. But for somebody like me, stating that is the easy bit. We've got to do that in a way that is as fast as possible, but also just so in a way that doesn't simply increase our dependence on imported oil and gas and crucially doesn't leave the 100,000 people currently working in oil and gas on the economic scrap heap. So, you know, stating the objective, there's no doubt about the destination we're seeking to achieve, but getting there in a fair and a just way is crucial.